Hi guys, you will be shocked to hear that it is another gray, gloomy, rainy night <laughs> at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Imagine that, raining in New York, baby. In the month of May, it is now a Tuesday night, May 28th. I guess it's supposed to rain all night tonight rain all day tomorrow, then maybe we will get to close out May and open June with some actual rays of sunshine here. But it is now Tuesday night, May 28th, so I'm sure you guys are going to be absolutely shocked to hear that, uh, <laughs> that him... <laughs> Down it. I don't know what keeps flying down my throat. That uh, that 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 ham bone is alone again. So this morning I left here at ten thirty in the morning, heading to uh, pick up a big load of mulch and wood chips. Uh, and this little doomer hippie chick that I, th th that I mentioned, uh, in, in a rant a couple of nights ago, which I have since taken down, and I will talk about that in just a minute. So anyway, when I left here at 1030, this little doomer hippie chick, who is supposed to be here until Friday, uh, helping me out around uh, bugs in a jar. Uh, I told her, I said, okay, <coughs> darling, I'm, I'm heading off to get this, all of this mulch and these wood chips. And so that is going to be our job today is spreading this mulch and, this, and these wood chips. And uh, she was all set. She goes, well, I will get out there weeding your blueberries so we can mulch the blueberries when you return. That, that was at 1030 this morning. <coughs> so I head out <coughs> into, the, into the ceaseless rain. I am gone uh, two hours. Uh, oh, yeah. So, so she was here heading out to weed the blueberries. And this other attractive 20-something uh, young woman was, uh, was up in Blue Dragon. She was supposed to uh, check out tomorrow. Uh, so I had two attractive 20-something young women uh, <clears throat> here at 10.30 this morning when I headed off to uh, <laughs> to go pick up this mulch and the, these wood chips. So I am gone two hours. Uh, and, and so I come back, and, uh, and of course, it, 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 you know, the rain is <coughs> continuing to fall in this nasty, ugly weather. And uh, so I notice that the uh, the young woman who was who was up in Blue Dragon, not the Doomer hippie chick who is supposed to be here Friday, uh, you know, uh, helping me out, and and she was living here in this uh, in Hummingbird tiny house. So I get here, and that woman in Blue Dragon who is supposed to check out tomorrow, I noticed. Her car was gone, and I knew, I, I, I obviously knew that that woman had packed up her shit and, and gotten the hell out of Dodge. You know, I do feel bad for her uh, coming in here and uh, for four nights at Bugs in a Jar Farm with, with, with this goddamn never-ending rain. So, uh, but, the, but, but the other... You know, the Doomer chick who's supposed to be helping me do all of this work, uh, she's still here. And, and I said, let me guess. I, I, I said that I said that girl 
just packed up her shit and got out of here that she was sick and tired of this rain and she said uh, she she looked at me and, and said bingo and uh, so I was you know getting ready to start our discussion about how we were going to uh, uh, approach the uh, the weather here in New York and uh, I, I had barely started in and she said Sam she she goes I've got some bad news <laughs> and and I said let me take a wild guess darling uh, I, I said you're bailing on me too and, and uh, she, she goes well, well well fuck it well fuck it look around here uh, <clears throat> she goes there's not there's not a goddamn thing we're gonna get done today she she goes I got to this fucking state She's from out west in, in the dry western landscape. She, she goes, I got to this fucking state uh, like three weeks ago. And she goes, I have seen more rain uh, in, in, in three fucking weeks. And she goes, and, and the only days it wasn't raining, it was sweltering uh, with this humidity. Uh, she, she goes, I, I, she goes, I, she goes, I'm sorry, I, I can't stand this shit anymore. Uh, she said, I need, uh, she goes, I need to, I need to get back to my trees, uh, her, her dying ponderosa pines. So she made up some bullshit excuse about her, her grandmother, uh, was sick or something. And, uh, so I said, <laughs> I said, so you're packing up your shit, and you're heading off to Montana, and, and, and I'm sitting here uh, w w with a goddamn trailer full of mulch and, and a truck full of, uh, and a truck full of uh, wood chips, and uh, she goes, I, I know I sound like a flake, and blah, blah, blah. She goes, I'm just... She goes, I'm just so anxious about everything in my life right now. She goes, I just need to get home and clear some things out of my head. And I said, whatever, darling. And uh, she gives me a big hug and grabs her backpack and disappears out into the rain. And then, of course, 20 minutes after she left... Uh, the weather was just fine. I mean, it wasn't just fine, but uh, I, I still managed to do an entire trailer full of mulch uh, by myself. So uh, anyway, I, I went from having two uh, <laughs> attractive young 20-something uh, women here at 1030 to having zero here at, at 1 o'clock. Uh, imagine that uh, alone again, but uh, y y you know it just really uh, j j just having that young woman here the the past two nights. Uh, you know, e even though she was less than one half my age, it it's it's just it's just nice to to have some damn female energy around. Uh, so now, of course, I'm just feeling more depressed than ever. Uh, <laughs> so uh, she stayed two days at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and she had had enough. She had had enough of working in the rain at Bugs in a Jar Farm for 20 bucks an hour, and she's off to Montana to raise up some dental floss. What a fucking surprise. So here I sit alone again with my thumb up my ass with the rain rolling in. So anyway, so I I put on I put this rant on uh when was it? Uh was it Sunday yeah, Sunday night. I put on this rant uh, uh, about uh, meeting this young woman and talking about some other folks here at uh, who uh, were visiting Bugs in a Jar Farm 
And just as I, I was basically what I was doing was testing my camera out because uh, there, there, there's nothing, well, there, there's plenty wrong with this camera. I was just uh, determining that it was, in fact, Luddite user error is why I thought that this damn camera was dead when I had somehow inadvertently moved the dial off of video uh, onto single photo. But anyway, so I did this rant, <clears throat> just this throwaway little rant before I went to bed Sunday night to, uh, figuring out this camera. And I get up this morning and I, I, I look at <coughs> the comments and I notice that this rant has 900 views on it. 900 views, which, which doesn't sound like much, but for, you know, for Humpty Dumpty Tribe to get 900 views in 36 hours is pretty much unheard of. Now, so I have 900 views, and there's 38 comments on the thing. I had 95% approval rating. I, I think I had something like, I, I don't know what it was, close to 100 thumbs up and one or two thumbs down on it, and 900 views. And 38 comments, and I start reading the comments, and the very first comment, well, it, it wasn't the first one posted, it was the latest one posted, but it was the first one that I saw, you know, at the, at the top of the stack was literally, literally from a flat earther, uh, going on and on and on. <clears throat> that we do not live on a planet, we live on a plane. So uh, I, 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 I go through that damn thing, uh, uh, literally from a flat earther, and, and they were not joking. So I delete that comment. Then I get to the second comment, which is from one, from some fucking absolutely bizarre a uh, conspiracy wacko talking some fucking bullshit uh, about how the nefarious they, uh, the nefarious they is emptying out the southern hemisphere, that they are in the process of emptying out the southern hemisphere. And, and, you know, getting all of these uh, people to get their little brown and their black asses up to Honkyville in the Northern Hemisphere. So the, the, this whole thing uh, about all of this immigration and stuff, this is, this is a conspiracy of the New World Order to move all of the undesirable people out of the Southern Hemisphere. So apparently... They're not clearing out Australia and New Zealand. Okay, they're, they're, they're not running uh, the Aussies and the Kiwis out of the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, they're, they're, they're clearing out the undesirables and forcing them to move to the Northern Hemisphere and then they, the nefarious they, are all going to move to the southern hemisphere, probably New Zealand, it would be my guess, <clears throat> and then they are going to nuke the northern hemisphere in, in a few years. There wasn't a timeline, but in the next few years, the New World Order, after, after clearing out the undesirables and herding them north by design with this fake climate and economic shit, you know, all that fake uh, lefty shit. Once they get the, 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 the southern hemisphere cleared of the undesirables, 
they're going to move to the southern hemisphere and they're going to nuke the northern hemisphere and kill all of the undesirables. This is a, a eugenics plan on steroids. So uh, I, that, that was my second comment. Then I get the third comment was this screaming rant by a Trump tard. That, that rant had absolutely nothing to do with Donald Trump or Joe Biden. And so I, 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 I get this long screaming rant uh, from a Trump tard asking me, well, Hambone, have you ever actually listened to a Donald Trump rally? Have you ever listened to Donald Trump speaking the truth? With a capital T. He, he goes, if you would just, uh, you know, snap out of your whatever and, and actually listen to what Donald Trump is saying at his, at his maggot rallies, that uh, you will become like this clueless fucking moron, a maggot. So I've had a flat earther, a New World Order depopulation agenda conspiracy theorist and a Trump tarred maggot were the first three comments and then I, I'm, I'm not even going to get in to what the fourth comment was. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to go there where this motherfucking troll went through but it, it was just a a uh, j j just an all-out uh, ad hominem personal attack on me, uh, blah blah blah. Uh, you know, someone I, I mean, someone I'd never heard of, and 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 these comments were coming in. Uh, not one of these comments were my regular subscribers. There were people I had never heard of. And uh, I got that one, and, and, and then I think next on the list was some fucking comment uh, from some pro-natalist breeder uh, who, who was, uh, you know, bitching at me, uh, <coughs> you know, talking about this 25-year-old uh, woman. Uh, saying she was never going to breed, and, and I was saying, and, and, and so I get this fucking pronatalist breeder, uh, you know, the Elon Musk thing, we need more babies on the planet uh, than fewer babies, and then I, I, I get this fucking moronic comment from from one of my regular subs, I, I I'm not going to use this man's name. Uh, I I don't understand this guy. I, I can't. I've never understood uh, if if P W is a a fan or a troll uh, making some absolutely baseless moronic comment, and I just said fuck this. Just fuck this, and I ripped the fucking video down. I, I I have no idea what the fuck it was about that video. That video, that that little throwaway, fifteen minute video, trying to figure out what is wrong with my camera, uh, brought out more clueless fucking morons. And trolls and 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 and, and just it's just fucking idiots, you know. And, and I'm reading this shit. This, this is the this is before I had my fucking coffee this morning. I, I'm going down a comment after comment after comment from every fucking brand of clueless fucking moron out there. Now, now some of you did leave intelligent comments, and uh. So I, I, I do appreciate the uh, two or three people. I, I didn't even finish going through the, uh, the these thirty eight comments uh, because I had to get down here and uh, and, and uh, start my day 
with this doomer hippie chick to uh, figure out how we were going to spend our day. And we all know where that went. Anyway, I gotta wrap this up because tomorrow, for the first time in my entire life, ever in my entire life, I'm doing one of these real estate auctions, these online real estate auctions, one of these tax deed sales. So uh, I've got to get ready to uh, buy another piece of. Florida swampland uh, <laughs> from from New York, baby. So wish me luck on getting uh, yet another piece of Florida swampland while I still can. And then after that, the, 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 this woman who actually wants to have her wedding night at Bugs in a Jar. Uh, she, she's actually reserved a place for her wedding night, and, and I am saying, lady, you have got to come out here and see what the scene is out here. So I've, I'm going to go buy a piece of Florida swampland, then I'm going to show the bride-to-be uh, where she might or might not be spending her wedding night. Uh, then I guess I'm going to go shovel wood chips by myself because I sure as shit don't have any little doomer hippie chick to help me shovel dead trees while I still can. Uh, bye guys.